Welcome to a tour through Berlin, the capital of Germany. Here we are at the Brandenburger Tor, in English Brandenburger Gate, a famous landmark in Berlin. King Friedrich Wilhelm II ordered the construction of this gate, which was opened in 1791. From the Brandenburger Gate you can see the Tiergarten, a 210 hectares park in the district of the same name. Berlin is located in the northeast of Germany. And it is the most populous city of the European Union as it has more than three and a half million inhabitants. Here you can see the Berliner Fernsehturm, also known as Berlin Television Tower. It was constructed in 1965 and it is the tallest one in Germany and the third tallest in the European Union. The tower is not only the location of many broadcasting and radio stations, but it also is a viewing tower and houses a bar and a rotating restaurant. On the left side you can marvel at the Berlin Cathedral, a monumental German evangelical church. And on the right side you can see the reconstruction of the Berlin Palace, which houses the Humboldt Forum Museum. Have a look at the pavilion at the television tower base and the water fountains under the Berlin TV tower. We are see the Neptune fountain, which was built in 1891. The center of the fountain is the Roman god Neptune and the four women in front of him represent the rivers Elba, Rhine, Vistula and Oder. Enjoy the Rotz Rathaus, the Red City Hall, the Town Hall of Berlin. It is the home to the governing mayor and the government of the state of Berlin. In the near of the Red City Hall and the Berlin TV Tower you can find the St. Mary's Church, one of the oldest churches in Berlin. Here we are at the Berlin Cathedral. It is a Protestant church and it is located on Museum Island on the northern section of Spree Island. The River Spree is the main river that flows through Berlin. The cathedral has a total length of 114 meters and it is a famous landmark of Berlin. Here you can see the Bode Museum. It is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. And it is home to many sculptures, coins and medals. The museum was established in 1904. Berlin has many bicycle lanes. There are about 620 kilometers of bicycle paths in the city, so exploring the city by bike is a great option. Here you can see Checkpoint Charlie or Checkpoint C, the crossing point between East and West Berlin during 1947 and 1991. The Berlin Wall Memorial is dedicated to documenting the history of Berlin from the construction to the fall of the wall. Here we are passing the Gendarmenmarkt. 
It is a square with the Berlin Concert Hall and it is flanked by the German Church and the French Church. Our next destination is the Altes Museum, the old museum in the historic center of Berlin. As part of the museum island complex it was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999. Have a look at the Reichstag, which is the historic government building in Berlin. It houses the Bundestag and the lower house of the parliament. The construction of the building began in 1894. Here a view from the other side of the building. The Reichstag was renovated in the 1960s and the dome which you can see was reconstructed in the late 1990s. Let us cycle next to the water. Did you know that on the coat of arms of Berlin there is a black bear? This weapon has first been used in 1709. It is assumed that a bear is on the weapon because of the resemblance of the word bear and the first syllable of the word Berlin. Now we are on the Maltka Bridge, a bridge that spans the Spree River. It lies next to the Chancellery and is made from red sandstone. On the bridge, there are statues. In front of you, you can see the back of the Federal Chancellery Building. The main task of the Chancellery is to assist the Chancellor in coordinating activities. The building is known to be the world's largest government headquarters. As the evening begins, we are again at the Brandenburger Gate. Doesn't it look magical with the lights here? The Brandenburger Gate is associated with freedom and tolerance. It was heavily damaged in the Second World War, but it is in great condition nowadays. About a million people come to the gate each year. Another view of the Reichstag, this time in the dark with the lights on. On the left there is the visitor center of the German Bundestag. Berlin has many theaters. There are about 150 in the city and also three opera houses. If you are more into museums, you can visit one of the 175 museums of the city. Marvel at the illuminated trees which stand along the water. What a magical atmosphere. Only a few moments left on our tour. Keep on cycling. Each year in October, many famous sites which we have just seen, such as the TV Tower or the Brandenburg Gate are illuminated at the annual Berlin Illuminated and Festival of Lights event. It is one of the world's largest light festivals. We end our tour here with a view on the Berlin Central Station. Thank you very much for accompanying us here on our tour through the capital of Germany. We hope you enjoyed it. A full version of this beautiful place can be seen for free on Virtual Fitness TV. Try it. Sign up today, free for 30 days at www.virtualfitnesstv.com. Get access to over 1,000 videos, every week a new location, also available in app stores. Search for Virtual Fitness TV. Subscribe now. Stay fit at home while seeing the world by Virtual Fitness TV.